I think it's something I'd like to pass down to, to our kids to, to be outdoors, to respect the outdoors, to love wildlife and, and learn a lot about them and, and see them on a, you know, a daily basis. I think you can learn a lot. Come here, babe. Mabel. Come here. She's coming. So we have a few breeding deer in pens and Mabel is one of the females that's in the pen and she will eat right from your hand. Hi, sweet girl. She likes me. She does. Hi, baby. Let's go. The kids are awesome. That's been the neatest part, is seeing the excitement uh, when they see an animal. Oh, she smells it. Look. She's like, I smell good. I'm gonna throw some to my mailbox. Mabel. You know, I, I think you learn a lot about the way the animals work, the herds work. You know, I think just the respect for animals. It, it, it grows so much more. Kudu look like Maleficent, and then the elk, they're just so large. The wildebeest, they look so cool. Their tails are actually fat like a beaver. The fallow, it has like paddles. The chocolate fallow, it's chocolate. And then the white fallow, it's white. It's stuff like that, that, that you understand why these guys that live this lifestyle of, you know, professional athlete want to get away to something like this. And and I'm just lucky enough to be along for the ride. Wanna go open that cage, buddy? Move that rock. You gotta move the big rock. With your hands. You gotta watch out for Mr. Rooster. You gotta move the rock a little bit. Now put the rock in front of the door so the door doesn't close. That rooster's gonna kick him right in the head. All right. Go! Now get out of the way so they can come out, you meatball. Well, I think the ranch has been so good in so many ways. I think, uh, you know, we try to get the kids to do certain things every day. You know, one of the big things that my dad passed down to me was, was a work ethic. And, um, you know, I think this is a, a good way for, for our kids to kind of learn. What kind of chores do you have these guys to do? Car wheels and hand sand and round up. Chores, like uh, picking up rocks. Oh. Green egg. Yay. Let's move the decoy eggs. What you got there? Egg, a green egg. Green eggs are from really cool chickens. We have green and blue eggs. We have 420 acres high fence that our kids can roam and explore. And for the most part, they're gone and they're out on their bikes or they're out running to the lodge. It gives them a little bit more freedom to, to do things. And, you know, I think that's important too. I think it's, those are things that we did as kids and, and it's kind of harder to do in today's world. So, you know, I think they're, they're learning a lot of things without knowing they're learning things. So it's. It's nice. This is a house. Double B Ranch house. Look at Daddy. It's facing at you. Whoa. We're good? We'll walk down the hill, up the hill, and then down into the canyon a little bit more, and then down and up again. You know, I think they grow up a little fast. Like today, we did that, that good hike, and, you know, we're not taking any whining. They, they're going to have to do it. Going to the bottom. We might never come back out again. You know, you're teaching them to be careful. They're, they're looking around for snakes, making sure there's nothing there. Keep your eyes open, and you guys go down here and look for sheds. I'm gonna go over here and look for sheds. Well, what were you guys looking for on the hike? We were, we were looking for heads and antlers. Do you want to explain a head? <laughs> so here's where they're walking, and then they can hit, they hit their noodle, and the things fall off. We went looking for antler sheds. These are antler sheds. Sometimes you find them side by side, right? What are you, Tarzan? <laughs> See, I don't know how Tarzan does it, buddy. 
You better get your butt up before you get chewed on by chiggers or ticks. Also, if you see poop, kind of touch it. If it's warm, that means it was just out. Let's go, Crocodile Dundee. Hey, Booty, you gotta keep your eyes open still on the ground, right? Antler! No way. What? Cool. I found my Good. That's a good one. Whoa. I found a good one. <laughs> That's sick. This is cool. Careful with it. Daddy found. Peyton found. Daddy found. Peyton. We're outdoors eight, 12 hours a day. It's a place where your kids can start building memories and you have pictures of them growing up and you know stories of crazy stuff they've done, where they've gotten hurt. Whoa, you all right? Watch your Look at these steps. donkeys. They're I mean, Jag's jumping into the bushes today the, like he's at a ball pit. Those are stories that are going to live on with them and, and us. And, you know, I think it's just important. It's been, it's been great being back in Texas and knowing that this is where we're going to be. Daddy isn't, isn't that there at San Jose, but at, in the summers, he's always here, so it just feels like home. You know, I think that's what life is about. I think being around family and coming back to Texas, knowing we have our roots, you know, I think there's just something that is nice with that. You know, you have your forever place. Good job, guys. Wow. It's just a special place. It's got a special atmosphere. I mean, the animals that we have. Hey. Look at Ziggy. He's getting big. So Look at the babies. Oh yeah. my that's amazing. I got it. Those, Those are, things are send that to me, Mommy. It's not your everyday place, and it's something that Brent and I really feel we'll be able to pass down to them and to their kids, and that they'll be able to come back home to visit us with their children, and that their children will fall in love with it the same way we have and that they have. What are you videoing? Yeah. We have to take a photo.